So it's just insane, what is happening to Workhorse Group stock again, actually being up almost 2% the last trading day since the recent 40% pullbacks from the more than 130% recoveries we've seen before. These occurred after spiking an astonishing 7,800% in January, easily making Workhorse one of the best performing stocks at the time. But as we are still down massively since then, what we are going to do today is give you an updated insight into what is actually happening to Workhorse Group stock and break down exactly whether it is still a buy at the end. And as the analysis in the video is as always crucial to consider before buying the stock, make sure to stay tuned. Really quick before we jump right in, just hit that subscribe button down below. And as we'll keep you updated on breaking news and awesome trading opportunities every single day, subscribing would not only help us but also you. So there's really no excuse for not smashing the subscribe button, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you feel so. Alright, let's start talking about the stock, and as its popularity especially amongst investors skyrocketed together with the price in January, it's no secret that we are looking at a pretty revolutionary electric delivery car producer in the US. It truly differentiates itself from the competition, however by only producing vehicles that are not only 100% electric, but also highly optimized for maximum efficiency. The tremendous hype surrounding Workhorse's stock, on the other hand, is absolutely insane, making the stock rose a ton in value at the start of this year as a result of the short squeeze that took place at the time. However, and this will be important later on, achieving such a short squeeze necessitates a very high short interest. As a result, it's critical to quickly take a look at exactly how the company actually ended up in this situation in the first place, starting off for example with Workhorse losing a major postal contract to Oshkosh Defense in late February, which contributed significantly to the stock's drop. But the huge hype from retail traders is what led the price skyrocketing once more. Thousands of individuals drove short sellers to cover their positions, resulting in a squeeze that has gained a lot of attention on sites like Wall Street Bits and videos like this one. And here is where the short interest becomes crucial once more. So because this significant number is actually increasing as a result of the current decline, another short squeeze in the near future becomes all the more likely. A second spike could be made even more conceivable by the tremendous amount of hype it still receives up to now. The first gains after such a long period of constantly heading down could also indicate the start of this recovery. But as we are looking at an EV company, it's the orders that are important right now. But due to Workhorse still being a pretty young company with accordingly low order flow, some investors are hesitant to invest in the stock. Considering the current evaluation, it also becomes apparent that the company is still quite small in a very competitive field. However, if it is able to deliver on its promises and generate at least a reasonable income, this might be a significant growth opportunity. And looking at current revenue predictions of $282 million in revenue for 2022, the stock trades at about 5 to 6 times sales, which is also very important for the prediction in the end. For a growing investment in the electric car market, with an e-commerce overlay as Workhorse for example has, this isn't prohibitively expensive. Workhorse also possesses a substantial cash position of $215 million, indicating that it will not need to acquire financing in the near future to fulfill its goal of providing ecologically friendly delivery options. And, given the massive growth of the e-commerce industry, the stock is an awesome method to profit from the tremendous distribution boom that follows. As a result, it appears to be a great idea to do so via an EV option, especially with a small company having a lot of room for growth. However, as a short-term investor, you should be wary of the company's current volatility and significant price jumps. And with the rising short interest and hype from retail traders in mind, a second short squeeze becomes very likely again as well. Alright, with that being it for today's video, thank you very much for watching. This of course is also important for long-term investors while also providing massive growth opportunities. If you like this video and want to support our mission of providing free financial information to everyone here on YouTube, please ensure you're subscribed and definitely consider leaving a like. As mentioned before, it really means the world to us. Thanks a lot and see you next time.